Hey y'all, so welcome to Study Chess with me, and we're going to jump into this next tactics exercise right now. So we have a position that is described as 1406, and yeah, it's just a mate in one. Won't belabor that one too much. Sorry for the flickering. Next position. 1451. So it looks like we're back to the start the session with easy positions and then go to the hard ones. Mate. Next position. 1719. Okay. If you want to put it on pause, feel free, but this is pretty easy. Ah, okay, 1400, 1700, 2400, master level, according to the site. This next move is, whoa. Okay, so it's black to play, and white has two queens. It's the first time I see one exercise with two queens, so I was taken by surprise. Okay. Well, let's get right to it. Black to move and win. All right. I think I found it. It's... Uh... Well, black is threatening, obviously, a discovered check with uh, the queen over here on d3. So rook c1 is a threat. I can't play it yet because if I play rook c1 check, rook takes c1, queen takes d3, rook c8, I get mated. But we can prepare that move. So my solution is rook h e4. And I really can't see how white continues to maintain that threat. The queen has to leave, queen can please anywhere. Queen d7, queen g8, doesn't really matter. You can't stay on the diagonal. And after the queen moves, I play, and you can't protect the other queen, I play rook c1 and pick up the queen, and I'll be up a piece. That's what I see. Okay. Good. Next one. And we broke 2,500. Yay. <laughs> it's just a sight rating, man. If I had really broken 2,500, oh man, you'd be seeing me jumping and dancing on the table like one of those films, Fiddler on the Roof or something. All right, 1968, white to move and win. Oh, cute. Okay, I have the solution to this one. This is actually pretty easy. This is one of those check, 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 mate positions. If you want to uh, consider it, then please put the video on pause. Otherwise, my solution is g takes h7, king takes h7, queen g6 check, da da. Knight takes g6, forced. Pawn takes g6 check, king g8, rook takes h8, mate. It's kind of forced, so. Right, not rook takes h8. Wow, <laughs> force, but it would help to remember that the piece is gone. Uh, all right, anyway, solved. Next position. Black to move and draw, aha. 
So we're not looking to win, we're looking to just save the game. Which means almost inevitably a perpetual. And yeah, this is a terribly complicated. Okay, it's really straightforward. I mean, you don't have a ton of options here, so how many moves do you have? But okay, so feel free to pause it if you would like to look a little bit more. Otherwise, the solution is, oops, sorry about that. Um, knight, c3 check, threatening the queen. Pawn takes, queen takes c2, etc. And yeah, we have our perpetual. Nineteen seventy-seven, white to move and win. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I hesitated a little bit. The first moves are easy, but um, I was a little slow to see the final shot. So the solution I have is rook takes e7. Queen takes e7 forced. If uh, bishop takes e7, then bishop takes e6 wins the queen. King b8. Knight a6 check. King c8. Queen b4. And queen b4 has a pretty much unstoppable mate on b8. And that was the move I kept missing. I kept stopping it. I can't play queen b7 for some reason. Well, we all hallucinate, and that was mine. And I believe that's it. After that, well, black has some stalling checks and whatever, but I don't think it can stop it. Okie doke. Okay, so next position. A tough one. Rated, this move in any case, not the entire position, I mean, not the entire exercise, is 23.35. All right, let's get to it. Black to move and win. must be missing something because this looks really obvious. Well, honestly, very difficult. I mean, maybe this is just one of those positions where you just hit the solution immediately, which I think I have, but it looks really easy. I don't see how this is 2335 in a million years. All right, but feel free to pause it if you would like to think about it. Otherwise, my solution is f3, bishop takes, knight d4, threatening f3, and I don't see what you can do. I mean, if you... remove your bishop, I just have bishop g4, and wow, it's just game over, man. Okay. Like I said, it looked pretty easy to me. But maybe I was just lucky. It still doesn't look that hard, even on hindsight. All right, next position. 1916, white to move and win. OK, it's one of those positions where you see the solution almost immediately. 
because honestly there are not a ton of moves here for white. But you sort of wonder about the the last blow. Did you miss something or is it really just, you know, finish it off from here? In any case, my solution is bishop f4, of course. Uh, we have to stop rook b7 anyway, otherwise we are just instantly dead. Bishop takes e4, queen b6 check, king a8, obviously not queen, king c8 because then you have mate, queen takes c7. Bishop takes c7, and you're threatening mate with queen a6, so the bishop actually cannot come back because if bishop, let's say, a6, um, then we have queen a5 check, bishop a6, queen takes a6, mate. As a result, the only move to stop mate that I saw um, is queen c8. And uh, yeah, you can just take on e4 and uh, you're up uh, several pawns and very happy for it and ha very happy about it. So that's my solution. Bishop f4. Well, that has to be because there cannot be any other move. Okay. Good one. We're on a roll. Next position. And, oh, tough one, 2449, black to move and win, master level, okay? And this will be the last exercise of this particular tactic session. So let's get to it, see what we have here. Well, I believe I've already found it. And I guess we're just having one of those good days where the moves seem to come to us. I'm not going to assume that I become a genius overnight. So, um, But feel free to pause the video if you'd like to uh, consider it more uh, before I give you my solution. So the first thing is, of course, we have threats of the back rank. Um, if the queen leaves d4, then of course we have rook takes d1. Well, if the queen leaves the d-file, that is, we have rook takes d1 mate. And that's uh, an essential part of the puzzle here. So we also have to worry about, well, look at, let's say, queen check h8, which is, it's not threatening, it's just one of those details you have to sort of always keep in the back of your mind while... Uh, calculating lines here. So, yeah, based on the obvious uh, needs to protect that uh, d1 knight, my solution is queen g7, threatening the queen and threatening the bishop. The queen cannot be taken on g7 because of mate. Um, you have to worry about that bishop, so you have to move the queen to, well, there's only one square, and that's d2. So queen g7, queen d2, queen takes g2. That's the cute little key there. If queen takes g2, again, you have mate, rook takes d1. And unfortunately for white, after queen takes e1, which would be the salvation if it worked, you have, unfortunately, queen takes c2 check, king a1, queen b1 mate. So game over. Brilliant. We did well. 
So thank you for joining me um, in this tactic session. And tomorrow, most likely, I will be doing the continuation of our studies of Ludwig Pachmann in his next chapter. I didn't see what the name was. I think we still have to finish Blockaded Pawns, so that will probably be it. And yeah, continue our road to progress. Thank you. Happy chess and good mates.